I discovered that I had breast cancer taking a shower. I made a doctor's appointment with my general physician and my general physician immediately referred me to a mammogram up at Allegiance. Then I went from the mammogram, they saw something um, that when they read it that day, so they scheduled me for a biopsy. Then I had the biopsy, so at that point you have to wait about three to five days to get the results and my regular physician called me and said I need you to come into the office. When I was told cancer, at least my first experience in the office, I think I was literally in shock because the doctor kept asking me, are you okay with this? Are you, should I let you go? Because I just sat there kind of like I am right now, very calm, collective, just no big deal. <laughs> Got in the car and drove home. I was worried, you know, to drive home, but nothing bothered me. Then when I got home and had to start figuring out how I was going to tell my husband. So I had to try and kind of figure out how I was going to explain what I had been dealing with inside of myself with my husband and shared it with him. And of course, <laughs> the rock of my world. I mean, he reassured me and told me that it would definitely be just a speed bump in my life and to not worry about the long haul, just to stay focused. So that's what he helped me do. Uh, he gave me the best support I have ever, ever gotten. I must say that uh, my patient navigator at Allegiance, Sharon Petrie, and that lady called me every day for three weeks until she knew and she could hear in my voice that things were starting to level out with me. I was starting to accept it, you know, because she's trained to hear if you're depressed or if you're too upset over something and it, you know, it's a personal one-on-one -on -one thing, and that's what I look for. I'm from a little town, and I like to be personable with people. I'm just that type of person. I don't like the big crowds at a hospital and all of that. So it was very important to be close to home because life has to keep moving. My family was busy and just all kinds of family support with that. And one of the hardest things to learn for me is not being in charge of my kids, my house, my job, um, to have to let go of that and to let everyone else do that for you is by far the hardest thing I ever did. I learned that I'm stronger than I think I am and it makes you believe in yourself more because you have to to get through this.